Hello. FOMO, the fear of missing out. You know, there's a lot of talk these days about how due to mobile phones and the social media, there's a greater fear among young people of missing out and how it's affecting their mental health. And it's generally a bad thing for all of us. Personally, though, I don't think FOMO is a new thing at all. I remember when I was young, living in Fraserburgh, we didn't have a telly. So our telly viewing was limited to Friday nights when we went round to Uncle Freddy's and watched Emergency Ward 10. <laughs> or Thursday evenings when we went round to my Auntie Jessie's and we all had a bath. And if we were lucky, the Lone Ranger was on as well. And I can remember one day in school suddenly discovering everybody was talking about Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds, isn't it great? F-A-B, Thunderbirds are go. And I thought, what are Thunderbirds? You see, we didn't have, we didn't, we didn't watch telly on a Wednesday night when Thunderbirds were on. So I was in, I was in a real danger of missing out on what all the fuss was about. You know, we come across that same sense of missing out in our verse for this week. Because it begins with these words. Do you not know? Have you not heard? And there's a sense that these words of Isaiah are half teasing. Do you not know? Have you not heard? These words were written for the people of Judah who were living through dark times. And when times are dark, it's very easy to forget who God is. Going by all that's happening in the news just now, we are also soon to be living through dark times. So there's the danger that we too might forget who God is. Listen to the whole verse. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. His understanding no one can fathom. Don't worry, says Isaiah. God is everlasting. Time itself is in his hands. And he's the creator God. The whole world is in his hands. He knows all things. He understands all things. And he never grows tired or weary. He will never grow tired of loving us. So, are you worried about what lies ahead? Do not be afraid. Shall we pray? We thank you, Father, for this gentle reminder of who you are. And we ask that you bless us with a sense of your presence, your great and wonderful presence in the week that lies ahead. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, don't miss out. Have a good week.